We're being asked if the following series converges or diverges. So in this problem, we will use the ratio test. So solution. So recall the ratio test. So the ratio test says that if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n, and you get L, then one of three things uh, happens. If L is less than 1, then the series converges. It actually converges absolutely, but I'll just, I'll just write converges since that's all we need for this problem. Uh, if it's greater than 1, it diverges. And if it's equal to 1, uh, we get no info from the ratio test. All right, so let's do this problem. So in this problem, this right here, this is our a sub n, okay? And this is not the hardest problem, but it's also not the easiest, so it's a good example, I think. So we'll take the limit as n approaches infinity, uh, and I'll show all the steps. So a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. I usually skip this step. Okay, this is the limit as n approaches infinity, and here's where it gets really, really crazy. So first we're going to take n and replace it with n plus 1 in a sub n. So all the n's are going to become n plus 1's. So you have negative 1 to the n plus 1. And then we have 2. And then when you put a, an n plus 1 here, you get 4 n plus 1. So you get 4 n plus 4. So I lied. <laughs> I skipped a step. So 4 n, 4 n plus 4. And then you divide by... Well, here you replace n with n plus 1. So you get 2 n plus 1 plus 1. So you get 2n plus 3. So you get 2n plus 3 factorial. Okay, so I'm skipping steps, but I think that's okay. Maybe it's better that I show you how I do it. So this here, this is a sub n plus 1. All right, we have to take this, a sub n plus 1, and divide it by a sub n. So when you divide by a sub n, you really just multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n. So it's parentheses 2n plus 1 factorial over negative 1 to the n, 2 to the 4n. Now let's go over that again. So we basically took a sub n plus 1, which is here in red. The, circle, the red circle is a sub n plus 1. How did we get that? We just replaced all of the n's with n plus 1's. And then we're supposed to divide by a sub n. Well, a sub n is here. So instead of dividing by a sub n, I flipped it. Right? I multiplied by the reciprocal. So 2n plus 1 factorial, here it is. And on the bottom, we should have this piece. And we do. All right, now what about these negative 1s that are being raised to the nth power? Well, negative 1 to the nth power... Well, it's either negative 1 or it's 1. And in any case, you get 1, because the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. So those just go away. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. So these are going to go away, that negative 1 to the n's. And here we have 2 to the 4n plus 4 over 2 to the 4n. So I'll do it over here. So 2 to the 4n plus 4 over 2 to the 4n. Um, this is 2 to the 4n times 2 to the 4th, right, over 2 to the 4n. These are the steps that people skip after they know how to do this. So um, there's the scratch work. I didn't want to write the whole thing again. So we have absolute value, 2 to the 4th, right, because these kind of cancel here. The negatives are going to go away, the negative 1 to the n. So the only thing left to deal with is this factorial stuff. So let me show you how that works. So 2n plus 1 factorial... Let me do it right here, squeeze it in. This is 2n plus 1, 2n times dot, 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 3, 2, 1. And that's being divided by 2n plus 3 factorial. Okay, And 2n plus 3 factorial is just 2n plus 3. And then you just subtract 1, so 2n plus 2. Then you subtract 1, so 2n plus 1 etc. 3, 2, 1. Wow, that's unreadable. Anyways, everything cancels in the numerator, right? And you're left with 2n plus 3, 2n plus 2. So we have 2 to the 4n, I typo, two, no, 2 to the 4, that was right. Um, and then 2n plus 
3, 2n plus 2, and the negatives go away. So if you take this limit, you just get 0. That's less than 1. So this converges by the ratio test. Why is it 0? Well, as n goes to infinity, this stuff here on the bottom goes to infinity, so the fraction gets really, really close to 0. So there's a lot of steps that are skipped or just explained in words or scribbled on the side going from here to here. But uh, hopefully that made some sense, and hopefully this helps someone out there who's um, working on the ratio test.